a variable is the reserved memory location to store the values all these three variables will have the same value data science please click on subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell symbol to get notified about new videos thank you hello everyone welcome to vino Thratinam tutorials a very important basic topic we are going to learn in this video what is variable uh, variables are the reserved memory location to store values or data this means that when you create a variable you reserve some space in memory let me explain with an example age equal to 20 here age is variable equal to is the assignment operator and 20 is value when we enter age equal to 20 what will happen is in the random access memory it will create a memory location for age and the value 20 will be saved here another example for better understanding name equal to python if we give name equal to python you know very well name is the variable equal to is the assignment operator and python is the value when we give value like this in the random access memory it will create the memory location for name and the value python will be saved here hope you got an idea about what is variable a variable is the reserved memory location to store the values if you want to find the address of 20 or python we have to use id just print id with that particular variable name you can find the address of this location now we'll see this with the practical implementation rules for python variables the rules for a variable name is same as the rules for writing the identifiers in python which i have already explained in the previous video that is the identifier and the reserved keywords please refer it once then comes the important topic creating and assigning values to a variable a variable is created at the moment when you first assign a value to it it means when you mention equal to symbol then only the variable will be created in the ram so i am declaring a value rule number equal to one two three four five and rule number is a variable and one two three five is a value this is an example of integer second example name equal to santosh and uh, initially the roll number is an integer type here name is a string type these are all the data types and third example marks equal to 80.5 here mark is the float float is nothing but a number with a decimal point if you want you can print it and check it print when we print the roll number name and marks is displayed this is how we have to create and assign the value so if you already worked in java or c we will be declaring the data types as compulsory that is like int float for the variables but the best part with the python is it will automatically assign the data types based on the value and reserve the memory space and it is done by an interpreter and the interpreter means backend program which reads our code and execute it the conclusion here is very easy in the python variables we no need to explicitly declare the data types to reserve the memory space which you can see it here then comes multiple assignments we have multiple ways to assign the variables which we will see one by one first one is multiple variable in a single row i am declaring four variables and for the four variables i am assigning four values in a single row now let me print and show how it works when we execute a will have the value 10 b 20 c 30 and d 40 and this is how we can declare multiple variables in a single row now the second example is multiple variables of different data type here i am declaring three variables name roll number and marks you can see all the three variables belongs to different data type first one string then integer then the 85.75 is the floating value just run it you got the values and third comes single value to several variables uh, this example is very useful uh, for example i am creating three graph graph one graph two graph three all the three graph name is like data science 
which I can declare like this graph 1 equal to graph 2 equal to graph 3 equal to data science. Now just printed all these three variables will have the same value data science. This is also another way of multiple assignment and this is how we will declare the variables more effectively to reduce the code length and also easy readability. Another important concept of uh, variable is memory allocation. Here one concept is if the value is same for the variables then the memory location will also be same. In this example graph 1 and graph 2 having the same value data signs. Now we will check what will be the memory address for this value. I am going to print just id of both the values. When we print id of both the variables you can see the memory address or allocation is same number. That's the best part of python. It means it will save a lot of memory space. Now I am going to change the value graph2. So updating the value of variable graph2 and checking the memory location. Just running it. When the value is changed automatically the address of that variable also changed. You can see different addresses displayed here. The conclusion here is the performance of our coding depends on two things. One is the coding logic then the memory allocation. That is how we handle the variables. Hope you understood. You can find the materials in this particular URL. Just click on the topics which you want. Python variable. Whatever we are learning, I will be updating in this location. That's the end about this video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.